Okay, so yesterday someone asked me if I could do a more in-depth look at how to mod performance manually. So I thought if one person's having this problem, it's probably more, probably lots of people. So I thought I might as well do this, uh, do this video on it to show you how to upgrade everything manually. So here are the upgrades we can do. We can use the downforce upgrade, the drag upgrade, the chassis weight upgrade, the fuel upgrade, which I already talked about last video, and the engine upgrade. So first we'll look at downforce. So the performance file again found, follow this address, asset groups, big package, and then you get to this menu, just go like this, teams, and then just Ferrari, whatever team you want. So it would open up like this, go to XML files, to the top, and then export, desktop, minimize that. And now what I'm going to do is right click, create a copy, paste, then I'm going to open both of these. Uh, there we go, nice. So I'm going to edit this one and for the copy I'm going to look at what the code for the upgrade says and then I'm going to apply that to this side, okay? So what I'm going to do is go to search, find, and I'm going to find downforce because that's what we're going to do first. So let's say we want to upgrade the downforce on our Ferrari. Then here we are, we'll come to the upgrade section. It's like line 1000, let's see there. And so, what do you get in this upgrade file? Well, actually first, um, as you can see, it says tier one downforce level one, tier one downforce level two, tier one downforce level three. And as you can probably guess, the higher the level is, the more downforce you're gonna get from the upgrade. So for level one here, it, uh, we're multiplying it by 1.014. Here it's 1.028. So obviously if you're multiplying something by 1.028, it's gonna be greater than multiplying it by 1.014. For this demonstration, we'll just use the first level. So what it first says is that we're gonna look at this val um, variable. Actually, I'll copy this out just to explain to you. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it says something a bit like this. So what we've got here is called the variable, and this is somewhere in this performance file on the left-hand side, and it's basically a thing. So third spring constant, that's the variable. Next we have a value, and this is what we're gonna do to the variable. Actually, no, we'll talk about operation first. The operation, they're very simple there. That is add, this is subtract. This uh, forward slash is divide. I hope that's not a back slash, otherwise that's a bit embarrassing. And then asterisk is multiply. Okay, so that's what it means. So what we'll look for is that on the left hand menu, we're gonna go search find. So what we're gonna do is copy and paste the variable. Let's make sure we select from that side, there we go. Okay, and here is the rear suspension, as you see up here, suspension name rear, and the third spring constant is hip. So if we go back to where our variable is, let's say suspension name rear, yep, check that, and then we've got our value. So we've got a value and a plus. So what that means is that we're gonna plus or add 7,000 to this 60,000 over here. So obviously 60,000 plus 7,000 is 67,000. So what we're gonna do, type that in 67,000. Same thing for the front suspension, just scroll down, front suspension there, third spring constant, here we got, is that 120,000, yep. And again, it's, it wants us to add 7,000 to that. Operation is add, value is 7,000. So let's do that. All right, next part, it wants us to go to the aero section right here. And for these values, we're gonna to need to multiply it, so it's got asterisk, by 1.014. So what we're gonna do again, copy this value, select the left-hand side, search, find, or control F. Copy what we just uh, what we just selected from over here. Click next. 
and here we go f1 aero as you can see f1 aero and then we want m underscore aero front uh, max f underscore max r which is right here so for this we're going to bring up the calculator make it a bit easier for ourselves and just type in the value so 1.0302 we're going to multiply it because that's what the operation is over here we've got the asterisk which like i said earlier multiply and we're going to multiply it by our value over here on the left hand side 1.014 there you go this is our new value which i'm going to type in to do this i'm going to have to get a bit like this So 1.04622288. Then we can just get rid of these, these over here. Okay, and then again, next line down, we want to multiply it by 1.014. So clear that. Should we say the same value? I don't know. I can't remember if they're the same value or not. Yeah, they were. Right, they're the same value. So in that case, we can just copy it. And overwrite this one. Like that. Right, next value, these two are the same. So let's type it in. 0 0.9797. So we're getting that from over here. We're multiplying it again by what we want here, 1.014. And there's your new value. You can't copy it there, you can't, okay. So 9341.58. And just overwrite this with that. There we go. All right, and then we're not going to change this because, as you can see, we've done four, and now it wants the rear CL underscore max F underscore max R. So let's find that. There it is. And now we have a different value. It is 1.02. So again, our calculator 1.02. Multiplying again, and we check over to the upgrade section 1.014 once again. So the calculator, 1.014, enter, that's the new value. As you can see, 1.02 is repeated down here, so 03428, like that. And 1.02 is repeated down here, so it would be the same value, wouldn't it? Alright, nice, and now next one. 1.04 multiply by 1.14 did I do that right? yeah I did right, nice and the answer is 5456 type that in and then finally the last one for this downforce upgrade is 1.05 Again, multiply by 1.014. There's your answer. 0647. Right, nice. So that's the downforce upgrade done. Next upgrade on our list, we have drag. Oh, close that. There we go. Okay, so right hand side, kind of window, I guess. Search, find drag right there we go again different levels one two three four five there's also tiers that depends on like the car tier i've forgotten which way around it is it doesn't really matter i think they're all the same to be honest actually let me just check that for you ah oh, no i'm not bothered <laughs> just use the first one it, it doesn't really matter okay so drag's quite easy as you can see there's only two values we need to look at 
which are this m underscore aero underscore cd underscore min and underscore max and we're going to multiply both of those by 0.98 because that's our value there and the operation multiply asterisk. Alright, so we're going to copy m underscore aero cd underscore min, copy that, click the left hand side window and go to, well, I'm going to actually go to the top just to make sure I don't miss it. Alright, control F, paste, alright and there we go, that line 477 and that's a long value, great. So calculator time, can you copy and paste into cal I've never really used the Windows calculator, I'm curious if you can copy and paste into it, yes you can, oh nice that's going to save me some time. Alright, 0.98 because that's the value and then we get that long number. I don't think we can do anything, can we? Oh, copy, oh yes. You can tell I don't really do this a lot, can't you? All right, nice. And then the next value is underscore max, which is right next to it. So we're gonna copy that. Make sure you don't get the uh, quotation marks in there. Multiply by again, 0.98. Value. Ah, there we go. Drag has been improved. So that's going to lower the drag on your car and make it faster, I guess. And that's because we're multiplying it. You might think if we're multiplying it, it's going to increase the drag. But we're multiplying it by something less than one. When you multiply anything that's by a decimal, which is like less than one, it's going to decrease. So obviously, if you look at the higher levels, it's multiplying by first from 0.98, then 0.96, then 0.94, and so on. So obviously, the lower number you're multiplying it by, the lower the drag is going to be. Next upgrade is chassis weight. So let's have a look for that. Left hand side, no, right hand side even. Control F. with something else, maybe it's just called chassis. Is that what it is? There we go. Oh no, it does have a space. Of course it doesn't. Right. So, chassis weight, as you can see, very simple this one. All it's going to do is got, we've got our variable here, mass, and we're going to subtract. This operation is the uh, kind of hyphen or the minus symbol. I'm going to subtract 4 from it. As you can see, if we're going to uh, reduce the weight even more, we'll subtract 8 or 12 or 16 or 20 and you get the picture. So we're going to find our mass variable, we just scroll to the top again, control F on the left hand side window, we'll look for mass, there it is, as we can see, wait is that it? No, alright, uh, while I'm doing that, make sure, so as you can see here, this is actually the mass of the engine I think, because we want the chassis mass and this is the engine mass so good thing I spotted that isn't it so maybe we'll select it here right there we go that's the correct one because above it set is the um, chassis and as you can see here it wants the chassis mass so what we're going to do very simply subtract 4 708 subtract 4 704 and you're done. That is it. That's really quick. Uh, fuel we talked about earlier. I'll leave a link to the video if you didn't see it. And then engine. Engine's the difficult one. Engine, there's a lot to upgrade. So, in the game, actually, I'll talk about. I'll, I will look at the manual one first and I'll show you what I mean. So, right hand side window, control F to find engine. There we go. Okay, so you type in engine right hand side window, window and this is what you got to upgrade right it's a lot so here's the uh, engine on the proper one and as you can see there's lots of values so a shortcut to do that is as you know in the 2016 game there are four different engines there's the Honda engine powering the McLaren the Ferrari powering the Ferrari and the Sauber and the Haas uh, the Ferrari 2015 
is powering the Toro Rosso. I'm not sure if the Works Ferrari has a quicker Ferrari than the Ferrari customers. I'm not too sure. Uh, Ferrari 2015, which is a little bit slower than Honda. Mercedes, of course. Again, I don't know if the uh, Works Mercedes and the Force India customer car, whatever, have got slower engines. And then Renault, which power Renault and Red Bull. So let's say we want to improve our Ferrari engine. What I would do is instead of adding all these values, which will be uh, take a long time, what I would do is I would open up the go to teams, open up the Mercedes folder, Mercedes.erp, XML files, export. Again, just to my desktop. Okay, I can close the copy. We don't really need that anymore. Open Mercedes.vtf. And here it is. And what I would do is where it says engine, I would not copy kind of the mass and the inertia section, but all this. See so it has this. I would copy all of this and paste it into the Ferrari, like so. So above Rev's power spline and below Rev's power spline, like that. Oh, actually, while I'm there, uh, it's actually quite important that. As you can see here, the vertices, you know what vertices, right? It's that number, it's basically the number of these lines. It says here is 32, while the Ferrari normally has 37. So, actually you should copy the rev section as well, just to make sure. Because if it, if, it's, like, if it says 37 and you only paste in 32 lines, it's going to think something's wrong, isn't it? And you don't want that. So, I would delete that paste and then something looks something a bit like that and then now you've got a Ferrari with the Mercedes engine in obviously you're going to see an increase in performance I can prove that to you actually well I can prove it's got the same engine as the Mercedes now I'll go to my compare plugin and then as you can see the engine is completely the same but as we look down it's got different inertia or whatever so that is how, and it will also keep the Ferrari sound, I should probably tell you, so don't worry about that. And that is how you upgrade things manually. I uh, hope this video helped, hope, help, helps you if you didn't, if you're a bit unsure before. And I know my mic isn't the best, hopefully it's okay, it's just my headset mic, and I'm doing this like live instead of uh, doing a recording over the top, so hopefully it's a bit better. Thank you very much for watching.